Some stunning new discoveries were made recently on the west coast of Sardinia. Sardinia is famous for its Naraj's, its giant's tombs, its dolmens, its dolmens gigantis hypogeum caves and much more. But on the west coast near the town of Cabras is a site called Monte Prama and recently two giant statues were found there over seven feet tall now these are still in pieces and these are part of a collection that has now gathered and been unearthed from this site since 1974 and hundreds of these pieces were put together and reformed these seven foot to eight foot tall warrior style statues now there's different types there's some called the archers there's some called the uh boxers and so on and so forth and the two that were found that are still being reconstructed are part of this whole collection and so new discoveries are still being made in ancient sardinia in this video we have a look at a previous visit i did to the cabras museum but we also went to the monte prama site which is rarely visited and it's closed off but we managed to get access we also show you images of all the ones that are being discovered which are on display in Cagliari, in the center or the capital of Sardinia. So we're just at the main archaeological museum in the center of the, the capital city of Sardinia. And here, apparently, there's some very interesting pieces, including the giant statues that were found way up northwest of Sardinia uh, back in 1974. And they were recently put on display in around 2009 and again in 2014. Now, these are fascinating. They look like Earth a Man from Southeast Turkey. And they have this sort of gormless, almost robot look about them. We're hoping to see some examples here. We already saw two examples actually in the airport. And so um, these have caused a, a sensation around Sardinia. They're like potentially 2000 BC, so 4000 or more year old. Some of the oldest human representations on the planet. So I've just arrived here at the Cabras Museum. It's a very important museum. Uh, this holds some of the Monte Prama giant statues, the stone giants. Now there's only about six or seven of them here, but some were as discovered as recently as late 2016. With others in 2014, they found many different betels, which are these sacred kind of uh, cylindrical stones. Um, and also many sort of fake small Naraj's like representations of the big Naraj's, all the different styles, as well as of course the warriors, the boxers and the archers, the great seven foot stone giants that look strangely like C-3PO or um, robots out of sci-fi films. So you've got two museums that house these, one in the capital, which we visited on the last trip and here on this trip in Cabras. Now, more are being discovered, and we're going to actually go and look at the Monte Prama site. This is one of the most important sites in the whole of Sardinia because of what's being discovered there. Now, like Gebekli Tepe, it was destroyed, all the statues were covered up, and it was kind of decommissioned when the power elite, whoever these statues represent, um, then, you know, got destroyed and, uh, and different cultures came in. But what I find really interesting is the fact that, you know, they represent extremely tall people. And we know in 1953, uh, up on the north coast, near Porto Torres, where we found the cart ruts, um, there were certainly two eight foot giants were discovered up there. And there's been reports all down this coast, all down the west coast, going inland, going further south, right to the bottom, southwest corner, that certainly giants have been found. All the legends of the giants' tombs, who were really the Naraji people who, who were part of Monte Prama were involved in this as well. And so there's, a, there's just so much going on here in Sardinia, so many levels of history and archaeology, but also of the peoples who were here. And in, one of these people were extremely tall. And so it's fascinating that they're represented as these stone giants that we see in this museum that we're going to see right now. So we're back in Sardinia, and the reason we're in this particular museum is to look at more statues, 
more rock carvings and more artifacts from the site of Monte Prama. In the previous video, we looked at the museum in the capital city that had most of the statues and artifacts on display. But here there's some more We're in the Museum of Cabras. This is uh, on the, in the center west, on the west coast virtually. And this is very close to the Monte Prama site itself, which we're also going to try and look at today. But here they've got some artifacts which were found after um, over the last few years. And some of them are kept here. And behind me you can see some of the Naraji kind of towers that are recreated and then placed uh, within the central ceremonial area of the site. So this is one of the models of the Naraji found at Monte Prama in the Museum of Cabras. This is a particularly interesting one because it's got the zigzag motif on it again, which we find obviously in different parts of the world, like in Malta, Ireland, and many different, many other areas. But these are all these four pieces here are recreations of Naraji's and then they're placed at the center of the actual Naraji site itself. So the models of the Naraji are equally as important as the Naraji themselves. They show the monument in its double architectural formula, as well as a single tower and multi-towered. You can see all these examples here. The representations have a high symbolic value and they translate into an expression of art which took place in the Bronze Age in this part of Sardinia. And it went all the way up to the Iron Age where some of the sites uh, continued. Apparently they lost their original function and power, but they became quite quickly a heritage of the ancient past. This cultural, this cultural transformation must have been quite tough because these were a warrior class and they took place, hopefully we think, without violent setbacks, but it just sort of disintegrated the culture as different people like the Phoenicians and the Shardana and others came into the country and especially the Romans, of course. So these really are amazing that they're still here. So we have more examples here of some of the towers, some of the Naraji models. And you can really see if they really did look like this. They kind of look like castles, like Bronze Age castles. So the whole of the country was surrounded in like megalithic Bronze Age castles. Absolutely amazing. These are all from a recent excavation in the autumn of last year, 2016. So these are just found literally a few months ago. So this one is yet to be fully created. This is actually the statue of a boxer. Whereas this one here is the statue of an archer. This is the base of a statue here. And this is a boxer. So I'm just outside the entrance to the site of Monte Prama in, near Cabras in Sardinia. And what we're looking at here is the alignment of tombs where the stone giants were found in. And they were buried like real people. And uh, unfortunately, at, later, at a later time, they were kind of broken up and destroyed. But this apparently is the alignment of 33 or so tombs where the stone giants were actually found. And this is part of the greater complex of um, Monte Prama. We're just up in the one corner of the excavating site at Monte Prama. You can see what looks like carvings, like crosses marked on these particular stones. JJ just spotted this and it could be something that maybe hasn't been yet taken to the museum. These are also very interesting. These look like, it almost looks like the curvature of some kind of sacred area. It could be it even looks a bit like the curvature of a giant's grave or giant's tomb that we find all over this area and other parts of Sardinia. 
This is where the stone giants from the Bronze Age Nuragic culture were discovered. And they're, they're completely unique. The site is completely closed to the public as they're still excavating here. There are many excavations right up until autumn 2016. Again, just from this angle here, you can see the alignment of tombs of the stone giants. You can see it much more clearly from the aerial shot as we're not allowed in here whatsoever, but there's no guards, there's just cameras just guarding the site to make sure no one comes in here and destroys it because it's still, like I said, being excavated. But these stone giants are amazing. Some had horns, some had what you know, great shields or warriors, archers, other such things, about seven feet tall, most of them, suggesting they may be representing the actual culture that actually lived at this site. So as you can see, Monte Prama is a fascinating place and especially all the discoveries that are being found, even in 2022. I mean, discoveries were being made from 1974 all the way up to 2016. And to find them this year just shows you that much more is probably yet to be discovered in this part of the world. So thanks for watching Megalithomaniacs. Hope you enjoyed this tour around some of the museums the site itself and even the fact that they've got displays of some of the statues actually at some of the airports in Sardinia it makes it quite a fun place to visit so thanks for watching please subscribe please like it and if you've got any comments or questions please put them in the boxes below and uh, become a patron if you can to support our travels we really appreciate it but anyway we'll see you next time megalithomaniacs